In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 GCE Mathematics Paper 2, Question 1. Alright, so the first question, but A says simplify. So we have this expression here. So when they say simplify, it means that the expression is looking so big and they want us to reduce it so that it looks simple. This is number 1, but A. And the expression is 13A cubed over... 28 a squared b squared divide by 65 a to the power 4 b over 56 a squared b to the power 4. So when you look at this expression, it is made up of fractions. You have the first fraction and the second fraction, and there's a division symbol in between. So since we have two fractions that are dividing, it means that for us to simplify this expression, we are going to use the same rules that we use when dividing fractions. And the rules are keep, change, and flip. Keep, change, and flip. Okay, so we are going to keep the first fraction as it is 13a cubed over 28 a squared b squared then change we are going to change the sign to multiplication and immediately we change it it means that the denominator 56 a squared b to the power 4 becomes the numerator and the numerator 65 a to the power 4 b becomes the denominator so at this stage we can actually cancel what is common. You can divide these. We can simplify by dividing these that are common, like this, or by cross cancelling. So let's cross cancel. Here we have b squared, and there we have b to the power 4. So b squared into b squared is 1. b squared into b to the power 4 is, you are going to remain with b squared here. Then here, a squared into a squared is 1. a squared into a squared is 1. Then 28 into 28 is 1. 28 into 56 is 2. So we are done cross cancelling along this diagonal. We can come to this diagonal. Here we have a cubed. And here we have a to the power 4. So a cubed into a cubed is 1. a cubed into a to the power 4 is a. Then 13 into 13 is 1. 13 into 65 is 5. Then we have a b here and b squared there. So b into b, 1. b into b squared, what will remain is just a b. So 1 times 1 times 2 times b is 2b over 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times a is 5a. Okay, so you can see that the whole of this big expression has been reduced to, to 2b over 5a. So if you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. Alright, B says, learners in a grade 10 class were asked the type of drinks they liked. The Venn diagram shows their responses. So... This is the Venn diagram showing the responses of learners. The first question says, given that 40 learners liked Fanta, find the value of X. So they are saying that given that 40 learners liked Fanta, so set Fanta is this. So meaning the total of learners in this set Fanta should be 40. And then for us to find the value of X, we are supposed to add everything in, in the set Fanta and then equate it to 40. So this is B, 1. Then we are going to have 17. We are adding the, to, the, the all the learners in set Fanta and equate it to 40. So we're going to have 17 plus um, X plus 2, then plus X, then plus another X, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sure that all the elements in set font has, have been added. So this is equal to 40 because the total learners in set font, we've been told that they are 40. 
So next, we're going to collect like terms together. So this is positive 17 and positive 2. So we're going to say 17 plus 2 is 19. Then we are going to have x plus x plus x is 3x. Then is equal to 40. So remember, we want to find the value of x, meaning this term has to be taken to the other side. So we are going to have uh, 3x is equal to 40 minus 19. So we have 3x is equal to 40 minus 19 is 21. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 3. Then x is equal to 7. So the value of x is 7. So which means that in this set, wherever there is x, we are going to put uh, 7. So if we say 7 plus 2, meaning here we are going to have 9. Then here we are going to have 7. Here it's also 7. Then here 7 minus 2, it means here we are going to have 5. The second part they are saying, find the total number of learners in the class. So meaning they want you to add all the learners in this class. Okay, so part two, we need to add all the learners in this class. So first of all, to avoid mistakes, let's add all the learners that are on the intersection. Okay, so let's add 9 plus 7 plus 7. So we are done with the intersection. Then plus 17. So we are done with the set fanta. Let's come to this. 5 plus 5 plus another 5 plus 3. This 3 here. Then plus 7. And then when you punch this on the calculator, you're going to see that you have 60 learners. So therefore, there are 60 learners in this class. Part 3 says, how many learners A did not like Fanta? Okay, so part 3 A. They want you to find the number of learners that did not like Fanta. In other words, they want you to find Fanta complement. Fanta complement. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that we exclude all these students that liked Fanta. So what we're going to add is these that are outside set Fanta. Okay? So we're going to add 5 plus 5 plus 3. Include these also. They did not like Fanta. So we're going to have 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7. So we're going to have 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 and this gives 20 so you conclude and say therefore 20 learners did not like Fanta then the last one B says how many learners like two types of drinks so two types of drinks they want you it means they want you to find those learners that are on the intersection of two sets so when you look at set Fanta and Coke, the intersection is 9. When you look at set Coke and set Sprite, the intersection is 5. When you look at set Fanta and set Sprite, the intersection is 7. So they want you to add those that are on the intersection of two sets. So B, we add 9 plus 5 plus 7. 9 plus 5 plus 7. And this gives 21.